Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another video today on clarity. And the reason I wanted to do a tutorial on this is because on one side, I think it is one of the most overused feature of Lightroom. I've seen people go absolutely nuts with it. And on the other hand, I feel like there are a group of people that are completely oblivious to its features. And so I thought, let me just do a quick video on it, on what is it that the Clarity slider actually does and how could you use it more effectively. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So Clarity affects two things. It kind of, and kind of being the keyword, I'll come to it later, it kind of affects the contrast of the image and the other thing it does affects the details of the image if you bump it all the way up you get a very accentuated detailed look that is kind of grungy and if you bring it all the way down you get a weird hazy blurry kind of look so the reason I said clarity kind of affects contrast is because it only does it in the midtones I want you to look at this histogram and if I bump clarity all the way up, you can see that most of the changes in the midtones and the shadows and highlights kind of don't change that much. However, if I take the contrast slider and I bump it all the way up, it kind of affects the midtones, the highlights, the shadows evenly. And that's what a clarity slider does. How you can use it more effectively is that for once, Please, and please when I say this, don't use it on your skin tones. It looks absolutely horrible. Until, unless you're going for a peculiar poster look, it kind of accentuates your pores, your shadows under your lips, under the nose, and it just like makes your image look weird. The proper way to do it is to select an adjustment brush, bump up your clarity, and kind of mask around the skin tones and without actually touching the skin tones. The other places you could actually use this is that, let's say the sky has soft clouds and you kind of want to accentuate the details in the clouds and the sky. So you can take an adjustment brush, paint it in the sky and again, bump up the clarity. If you have a rustic wall, mountains and stuff like that, you want to give it more grungy look, you can bump it up there. If you look at my image, you can see that the wall around him has a nice rustic look to it. So I'm just going to take my adjustment brush gives it a cool rustic look. You can see that the details are more accentuated and it kind of makes the image look a bit nicer. And that's about it. That was a quick and short tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video as well and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.